Hello and welcome back to some more Dwarf Fortress with me, the Green Dragon. So, 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 let us continue with the glory that is knife years. And we've had some knifing from the Forgotten Beast, obviously, but... Oh, oh we're good, we're good. Um, we will, at some point, want a few strand extractors in order to start processing this thing that is this thing and in order to be properly respectful to the glory that is candy well maybe just ordinary gold I think ordinary gold might look better yeah we're gonna make two gold bar crafts dwarf workshops and we're gonna set some people at some point as strand extractors. Actually, I have stone crafters which are not actually doing anything. Like you, for example. Strand extraction, right? Yes, you can strand extract. What is your job? What are you actually doing? It won't show me because fuck me, right? God damn it. No, alright. Anyone else that is doing something totally useless and meaningless? Wow, the fish cleaner is absolutely amazing, huh? This guy's had lots of practice, apparently. Uh, do I want to actually set my smelters to work like that? Don't think I do, actually. That would suck for me. Okay, so we'll have, what, one strand extractor and a couple of architects. Well, since, well, you're a farmer, what are you? Do you have any other job for the architecture? Yes, you do, right. Shit! It's glass making, too. It's a little less horrible as, that, as far as that's concerned. Well, you two can start working on that. What about you? You are a farmer. You know, it really sucks not having extra manpower. It really, really sucks. To be honest. It really, really does. Alright. Speaking of, what have we got on the map? A Reacher. The fuck is this? A humanoid monster lurking far underground. Oh shit son. Shit. It feigns death, usually near water, until a victim passes by it and uses its long arms to drag its prey into the water to drown or strangle. Average in size, skin is grey, his eyes are black. So, big scary baddie. Okay. Now, in theory, we could say that we are interested in opening this cavern up. In theory. Wonder, do I have any mechanics left? Because I had a few, obviously, but they might have gotten at. And or recruited. I have you. You are a good mechanic. And you are pretty much the only mechanic we have left. Wunderbar. So we're gonna make a little tunnel like that. We're gonna fill it with a few traps and hopefully that will help. Also... Uh, wooden. Let's not be stupid about this. Let's use good weaponry. As in stuff that doesn't require constant reloading with... Yay. Bolts. Hmm, I thinking five spears per traps with ten traps should be more than adequate. Right? We're gonna go with that. Hell, it doesn't even have to be that many. What say you we make it... 50. 50 spears, that's... not gonna work out. S wooden... spear. How many? How many? Okay. With 30, that's 3 per trap. That's actually okay. We're gonna go with... 3 per trap. 
that's okay let's not overdo this it's not okay masterpiece large earthenware pot extract metal strands on repeat same here you can start okay workshop no 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 workshop orders do not auto loom anything there we go it's time to start working on the things on the things some crundle bones and the like the forgotten beast this suit has come a, a towering beakless cuckoo it has large mandibles and it is slavering its burnt umber feathers are long and narrow beware its webs oh shit <laughs> shit now this could be very fun indeed and you are going down there to reload the traps and such okay so beast has come where the frack actually is it it's not actually showing up hmm that's highly uncool of it it's highly uncool so that's a bad time in coming at some point so apparently there's yak bulls again ah yes the migration eh that's a drotha which you're carrying over there apparently interesting interesting and you are happily milling all the plants that's fine so that's all the cranberries essentially okay down below unsuspend this start making some meals for me because I think we can make some meals now I'm pretty sure we can anyway what happened oh yeah looking for infant yeah you do that you do that you know dwarven children suck but I think they're an essential step in having skilled dwarven people so kind of works out that way unfortunately down below here we have a forgotten beast in this it doesn't actually show like it doesn't actually show up but that is a, or was it down here actually hmm all right all those bone things they have to be constantly reloaded which sucks stonefall traps too I mean they're cheap to make but they kind of suck you know okay let's go like this and we're gonna do the F6 on this instead alright first things we want to have doors right here then we want to have some weapon straps which hopefully training weapons grown what's his face yes yes sure three iron weapons per or three iron uh, training weapons for per oh, silver stuff eh that's all stuff we could put in there eventually training spears done and training spears there we go done with that and another one because we do want stuff right so anything 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 we have lots of silver pikes and stuff we could turn that into things eventually but we have more important things to melt down first obviously and I think we're out of training spares anyway you should be melting stuff down please melt stuff down 
was the beastie down here? I mean, thought it was up here, but I mean, okay. Yes, here is the thing. Let's just focus. Yes, it arrived here, in theory. Did it just leave or no? There it is. There it is. It's just entering slowly. Wow, that one tree is actually providing things a way to enter onto the map. <laughs> a web beast. Shit, son. Oh my god, we're gonna die? Where the frick did it go? Here. Okay, it's hiding in there. Maybe I should have a crossbowman unit at some point that can shoot at things. No? Just... Because an experienced crossbow squad is pretty damn dangerous. They can just machine gun things to a... into a bloody pulp, really. So, you know... Mm. One experienced bowyer, one experienced woodcarver, and uh, like ten crossbow dwarfs, skilled ones, is a pretty powerful defense force until they run out of actual, you know, munitions. At which ca at which point they start sucking a whole whole lot. But you know, oh, let me guess, what shields and warhammers and crossbows. So apparently we are not exporting weaponry. We sure still aren't exporting the silver warhammers we are happily making, in theory. Or have happily made, in theory. I think we'll use the second thing to melt down stuff as well. At some point, because we will have a lot of things to melt down. Apparently there is a gold flask here. Why is there a gold flask? Oh, because we're allowing all types and anything that's made of gold and platinum is okay. Well, in that, we must have gotten it when we killed those human merchants or something. I honestly don't mind. It's fine. Right, it's fine. What do we have here, actually? We have these cages. Well, what we can do is just order their melting. Like so, just get rid of them. Can't melt down Galena stuff, or Galena blocks, fortunately. But we can melt down all of this trash. Yay, so. That's just random stuff. I'm guessing that we have a bit of meat now, right? Alright, that's good. And you are happily making lavish meals. And rendering tallow. Or you're just gonna use tallow in the meal. Huh. Which is actually fine too. It's a nice amount of booze though. We'll give them that. You are turning wheat into booze. And ooh, we are relatively low on barrels. That's not necessarily good. A wooden barrel. Make me another 30 of those, thank you. Alright, is the earthenware pots right or wrong? Okay, all this has is barrels, and what about... Uh, right. This is food storage stuff. Yes, you may store those there. People should run downstairs to the thing here and, you know. What do I need to glaze stuff? Uh, I have no idea what that means. None. 
none whatsoever so you are slowly bringing out the gold and you are actually nearly done you've brought out most of it so that's good that's certainly good and that's a random diggage designation which is doing nothing clearly all right down here that's not gonna get produced anytime soon for the simple reason that most of our things require a lot of reloading mechanics which we just don't have at the moment kinda of means that those are relatively inefficient what does what do these have here some stuff right random stuff alright and that's in that involves actual crundle bone things that's fine where is our mechanic what is he actually doing right now load weapon trap think you do that a lot now you're on a break hmm yeah single mechanic to load all that not so necessarily good to be honest no way. That's right, that's the thing. Okay, let's say we make bilberry stuff now that we've worked that up. You may proceed to plant that. Yes, no, maybe. No, well, we'll see. We will see. You are happily training. Well, we know how this story ends, don't we? You can train all you want, you're still gonna die horribly. You have gauntlets, greaves, and you should have a breastplate. Right. But you're just wearing the iron armor. Uh, sorry, not yet yeah, the leather armor. Do you not have enough room on your chests to wear both? Well, in that case... Oh, uh, let me just deal with that. Uh, this gets removed. No, 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 no. Uh, delete item, yes. Then we equip you with these uniform fours and you go and grab an actual breastplate because... Fuck, but that won't do. Yes. Oh, God damn it, you fucking idiots. They're gonna be derpy about this, aren't they? Okay, first you're gonna grab all of your own things and put them back in their proper place, apparently. And then you're gonna go looking for more stuff. It's wonderful. Stupid freaking soldier dwarfs. Yep. Traffic jam, sure, sounds great. Wow. Impressive. Um, something I do want to do, though, is set this as a high traffic area, because clearly it is. Now this will make the dwarves a lot better, in theory, at finding their way to things. Like... Well, maybe not quite to that extent. Just do it in the living quarters. Or so. For now. But that could improve their pathfinding a little bit, in theory. So all of that is high traffic areas. People travel through this a lot. That's where, you know, you should be looking f for pathfinding. Because we are moving between Z levels a lot as well, and... When did this happen? Holy Mother of God. Stay out there. Do not move a muscle. Oh, and that's a random... No! No, 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 no. Yeah, he broke the doors, too. He's a door breaker. Oh, we are so 
fracked there. Nobody's died to him yet. It's something. Shit! What do I do? How do we resolve this? I mean, clearly I need to do something. So you broke that door, that's great. You just stay right there. Just leave off of the water and the raw fish until it goes away. Trust me, you do not want to go through those doors, dwarf. You do not want to go through those doors. And this cavern level, despite having a little pond where we can fish and stuff, not necessarily the best thing, you know. Hmm, yeah. Not necessarily the best thing. Not by a long shot. Right, clearly that thing is not leaving. Not about here. You are doing your things. Yes, you are. Good. I could order the dwarves to charge the front. They would try, certainly. But in this narrow place, it would be very, very bad. Oh, crap. What do I do? What do I actually do here? I mean, I guess I have to kind of wait and see what that thing does. Now it's winter, right? Now it's freaking winter. Can't prefer any more lavish meals. Because we don't have enough different types of food. Well, if that's the case, why don't we just make simple meals? No, just... Uh, easy meals, right. Just make those instead, then. Because there's some stuff we can make use of, I'm sure. Right? Also, winter is upon us. Oh, it broke the thing. You just broke the door, didn't you, you bastard? Ow. And it's coming inside. Well. Well. Move, dwarves, move. Shit is gonna get real. Where did it go? Where did it go? Oh, it's already in the stairway. Actually, no. No, no, no. Let's do this slightly differently. Because I have a feeling that you are not actually properly set up yet. With your things, so... Kindly, quickly grab your gear if you can. Like right now. Because shit is about to get very, very real. Crap, that thing could make it to the living quarters. Oh, crap. Some of the dwarves have made it pretty far down already. Oh, it went here. Huh. But it is inside deeper tunnels. That is not a healthy thing. Okay, that's not good. And people are clearly gonna be dying. Well, that's one less dwarf. You just try to storm the front and get rid of it, please. Jeez. Ow. So much for bringing adamantine out, huh? Is that... Well, we're gonna lose some valuable people. We were extremely lucky before. That's not gonna repeat again. No way. Kill it. Kill it. Yep. People are dying. Where the frack is the battle? This could actually end... The fortress could end right freaking here. Actually. If it manages to kill all of my military, I'm dead. 
Well... Yeah, it's... Bleeding profusely from everything. So, there is a chance... Okay, how are we? Do we still have a military? Sh sort of. Right, the skilled dwarves are all dying. That's great. Did you get it yet? No. Also, a lot of freaking crundles around, which is gonna be freaking amazing. Yep. Killed an engraver. God damn it. But they did kill it. They did kill it. We still have some s semblance of military left. Okay. Let's read the Butcher's Bell then, shall we? 20 dwarves down. Shit! Okay, first thing, essential jobs. We still have our cook. Do we still have our brewer? We do. Okay. We still have farmers so we can feed ourselves. We have a few miners. That's good. We have our... One of our gem guys. The other one got killed. Crap. We have a blacksmith. We have furnace operators. Don't think we have... We have a weaponsmith. I do not see an armor smith. Not a good one anyway. So you will have to do armor smithing from now on as well. And we don't have a metal crafter either. Ouch! That sucks so hard. Okay. Fishery workers. We have the fish cleaner and we do have one of the fishermen. That is good. We can work with that. Strand extractors. We are done with that. We have clothes maker. No spinner. No nothing. Okay. We have a plant processor. But we don't have a weaver to go with that. Our miller is still alive. We have a carpenter and a mason who are both really good. We have Two, two engravers left. We have our medical dwarf, which is really good. We have a wood burner, but we don't. We have, yeah, we do have a potash maker. What about our? We do have a glass and pottery maker, and we do have our strand extractor, so that's good. We do have one of our butcher stunners. I think we lost our only. No, we do still have that one mechanic, so we're good there. Uh, bowyers, bowyers, we have the one, the both actually. Okay, that's good, we're gonna leave the really good one to work on the bowyer, yeah, you can do something else. Okay, that's good. What else do we need? I mean, I think we have the essentials more or less. Unless I'm forgetting something, we are still okay. We lost some important people, to be honest. We did lose quite a few important people. But we are still a functioning fortress, even if we've lost like half our population recently. Someone needs to come here and kill some crundles. So clearly we're being invaded by those little shits as well. Yep. Great. How hurt are you? Oh, you're the... you're just tired and missing a limb. Nah, perfectly normal. Okay, I should have actually ordered this dug a while back because we're clearly gonna need it. Right, everyone's wept, everyone's busy with things. Alright. Okay, you don't station, just go and train, it's fine. Crap. Your miners have defaced a Erush Lorbam. Okay. Yeah, someone's gonna be upset about that, obviously, because defacing works of art pisses dwarves off something fierce. But, it's a good thing thing we have a few extra coffins because strangely enough that thing was prophetic you know I might have to 
wall off. You know what? No, screw that. We're not walling off any caverns once we open them up. Frag that. Once a cavern is open, it stays open. Once it's open, it stays open. Rough though, losing our best smoother, like so. That does kind of suck. Yes, I am low on rock coffins. <laughs> I'm well aware of being low on rock coffins. Anyway, let us um, end episode here, and I'll see you guys in the next one. So thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed this, and I'll see you then.